What up guys, welcome to the channel. I'm back with another video. And today I just wanna to talk about some comments that I've been receiving um, quite a bit lately in regards to not being able to find a, a trucking job. You know, some of these comments are coming from uh, newer drivers just getting into the industry. You know, new CDL drivers. But then some of them are coming from you know, people who actually have experience. Um, and so I just want to touch on that for a minute and just to talk about why, or at least some of the reasons as to why it's been, you know, so hard or so difficult to find a trucking job. And I think there are a number of different factors as to why it's so hard. Number one, I mean, you got to look at the state of the economy. I think we all would agree that it's not the best and it hasn't been great for a long period of time. You know, so you got that working against you. A lot of companies have hiring freezes. Uh, a lot of companies just aren't hiring as many people as they once were. So you gotta factor that in when it comes to trucking. Also, you know, you gotta look at how so many companies, so many trucking companies have actually closed the doors, went out of business. I've seen several companies over the past three to six months that have went out of business or laid off a ton of employees. We all know about Yellow that, you know, laid off 30,000 employees. A lot of those employees were obviously drivers. So you have many of those employees that are now in the market trying to find work. Along with some of the other companies that have laid off and closed the doors of their business. You also have a lot of owner operators that went into business and then the company kind of or excuse me the economy kind of tanked a little bit um, freight rates aren't what they were you know a couple years ago or so so all these things going on cause a lot of owner operators to go out of business it's just, you know, too expensive nowadays to cover all of your expenses that go along with having a trucking business along with not getting the rates to be able to, you know, sustain a profitable business. I mean, at some point, you know, you got to cut your losses. And that's what a lot of people have done that are either owner operators or lease owner operators, you know, even if you're a lease owner operator, if you're not making the money to make your, your loan payments, then, you know, it's the same story. So you have all of those people out there that are either going back to becoming a company driver. So now they're searching for trucking job opportunities out there. You got the whole influx of the new CDL drivers that are also coming into the market. So, you know, you just got a lot going on right now. So, when I get all these comments from people saying, look, Anthony, man, I applied to this company, I applied to that company, nobody's calling me back. Why is it taking so long to find a job? I've been looking for several months. Um, you know, this company I applied to, it's been three weeks and I still haven't heard anything. You know, first off, guys, if you apply to a company and it's only been, you know, a week or two, you know, I wouldn't start panicking. You got to understand that it's a lot of competition out there right now. It's a very competitive market and many of these companies know that they have a lot of options now 
with so many people trying to find a job and a lot of those people happen to be experienced drivers and so you got to take all that into consideration so another important thing to note is that you know timing is everything so when you see these job openings that pop up you can't procrastinate you got to go ahead and and start applying almost immediately at you know the jobs that you see that's open if it's a job that applies to you obviously you know if it's a job that they are requiring a certain amount of experience and you're a new driver then that wouldn't apply to you but for those companies that hire um, new drivers out there like many of your food service companies many of your beverage companies um, many OTR trucking companies mega carriers hiring uh, new CDL drivers you just got to do the research and look at the companies that are in the area where you live and see who is hiring somebody with whatever uh, experience level you're at but it's a lot of different companies out there guys also in the market that we're in you may have your eyes set on one particular company and so you're just waiting on this one company to hire you I don't think that that's a good idea in this market you may have to go with another option and that's something that I was just telling somebody um, yesterday I think they was telling me they applied for this one particular company and they was wondering why they haven't heard anything back and it's been weeks since they applied and I'm like first off you got to be patient but secondly don't just have your your eyes set on one company you gotta you gotta keep putting in applications you gotta keep applying because you know like I mentioned a minute ago it's just very competitive right now so you know again just be mindful of that guys I think you, you definitely got to have a lot of patience right now in this market that we're in and I don't want to uh, I don't want to discourage any new drivers that are currently in CDL school or some of you guys that are you know just getting into the industry or you're out there searching for a job you're out there searching for somebody who's willing to take a chance on you you know stay encouraged stay motivated stay inspired if you just continue applying and taking action somebody at some point will give you an opportunity and it may not be like I said it may not be that opportunity that you was looking for initially so you know you may have to sacrifice going to a company that may not have been your first choice again when it comes to trucking having a clean driving record is important and also driving experience so as as long as you are doing good in those two areas you'll be all right but getting that driving experience i don't care what company you go to um, as a class A driver, that's the most important thing, or at least one of the most important things. So it's not where you start. You may not start off at that company where you work or, you know, your first option, but it's not the end of the world. So just keep that in mind, guys. Understand that it's a very competitive market out there. And try to you know build some relationships if you can if you know people that are in the trucking industry and that's how a lot of people are getting opportunities that somebody that may not have the connections aren't getting you know that's also a very valuable thing to have is those relationships so if you have friends or you know people that are in the trucking industry that could possibly help you 
put in a word for you you know all of those things can definitely be beneficial to you so that's why it's a, a it's a good thing to have those relationships with people because you know oftentimes when you have those good relationships you're able to you know jump over hurdles that other people have to uh have to face and you don't it's you know you're able to kind of you know skip the line so to speak because you know people and so that's the beautiful thing about relationships so don't take that for granted either try to build those relationships and i've said this time and time again you know oftentimes it's not what you know but who you know that can make all the difference in the world but yeah guys i just wanted to make this video because like i said i've been receiving a lot of comments lately from people who are just trying to you know out here trying to figure it out and they're, they're looking for answers as to why they're not getting that phone call so these are just some of the reasons that you know it's clearly not all the reasons you could just be you know not as qualified as some other candidates out there for the job that's a reality again you have a lot of uh, experienced drivers that are in the same boat you're trying to find jobs so if you're somebody that doesn't have a lot of experience and you know you're going to get somebody who does then it's a good possibility that that person with the experience may get the job it's not a given because once you get in front of that hiring manager for that interview you know your attitude your personality all those things come into play too so just because you have experience it's not necessarily a guarantee that you're going to get the job you know you still got to have some other you know intangibles to go along with it to uh to really impress some of these uh, hiring managers so you know first impressions are definitely important so don't take that lightly either but yeah guys hopefully this video helps again stay motivated stay encouraged just understand that your time is coming there are a lot of truck and job opportunities out there for different levels of experience it doesn't matter if you're a new driver or you know somebody that's seasoned and been in the game for a while there's a lot of opportunities out there and you know as long as you keep that CDL clean you'll have a you'll have an opportunity somewhere also if you don't have your endorsements get your endorsements make yourself more valuable to the marketplace give yourself more you know opportunities by having your endorsements that allows you to be able to do you know different things in in the trucking space and not just one thing I think that's key but that's all I got for you guys today I appreciate you guys for rocking with me we're still growing we're trying to continue to grow do me a favor hit that like button for me and um, if you watch for the first time consider subscribing to the channel I appreciate you you know right now the next milestone in terms of subscribers is 20,000 so we're on the road to 20,000 subs right now and then we're gonna keep growing from there all right appreciate you guys man hope you enjoy your weekend and i'll catch you guys on the next one y'all take care peace